Okay, everyone, we are back. This time we are in Santa Rosa, California at Stark's Steakhouse. Stark's has a great raw bar, excellent wine list, lots of great food, lots of great seafood. We're going to get in there, have a little bit of our unhealthy bread, uh, have a kale salad. Uh, just kidding. Actually, we did have the kale salad, but we're going to get into the steak. That's what we're there for. We're going to cut right into this right now. Wine by the Bay TV. Stand by. Okay, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Wine by the Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara. As I said, we are in Santa Rosa. Look at that bull over there. That's awesome. We are at Stark Steakhouse. This is a place I discovered a couple of years ago, and I have to tell you, I feel like I've been cheated all these years being in California not knowing about this place. The steaks are really great. Uh, that's just a quick look at the menu. We'll, get, we'll dive into that in a little more detail when we get inside. This place is conveniently located walking distance to two major hotels, the AC Marriott and the Hyatt in uh, downtown Santa Rosa. So as you can see, classic steakhouse interior, dark wood, uh, nice paint job, you know, beautiful wine cabinets as you walk in the door. Um, it's, you know, it's got all the earmarks of what you'd expect when you walk into a steakhouse. Uh, you don't maybe expect that big bull thing, but it's pretty interesting. And, you know, that's the host stand right there. And if you go to the left, you go right into the bar. And then if you go to the right, you go to the tables. But we walked into the bar where we waited for our first seat. And as you can see, it's very big very bright it's very airy i've sat at the bar a couple of times and had uh, just light drinks and maybe an appetizer and it's very very welcoming great atmosphere uh, you know it's it seems like it's a formal place but it's also informal in that the people that go there are not very pretentious so you know you can have quality meal quality drinks and not feel like you know you have to have a uh, five a three-piece suit on or anything like that and as you can see the dining room is very inviting again classic steakhouse decor but not stuffy um, it's a very, very nice, inviting atmosphere. Makes you feel welcome, makes you feel classy, and by the same token, you know, you, can, you don't have to, again, feel all, you know, tied up with uh, too many ties and suits and, you know, high heels and whatnot. You can kind of do whatever you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let us know where we should go and review next. I'm always looking for great places to try out. Wine by the Bay TV. Now we brought that Switchback Ridge, and I want to get into that in just a minute, but I wanted to take a minute and go over some of the wine list. You know, there's a lot of pages, because for some reason they don't actually print it uh, vertically, they print it more horizontally. So it takes a lot more pages, but if you take a look at what I'm showing you there, they've got some quality wines over there. Ridge Montebello, I mean, come on, Catherine Hall, uh, Lyndhurst, Odette, and of course the bread, I mean, of course. Uh, then that's the look at the menu, and as you can see, classic steakhouse fare, you know, a little bit of a California twist, so there are some light options, but, you know, you can go right for the jugular if you really want to. Look at that, they even have burgers on there, they've got the prime rib, which I actually helped myself to, and a plenty of sides, plenty of salads, plenty of starters. And speaking of starters, that's the kale salad right there with the light vinaigrette, a really, really good lemon flavor. That's the Switchback Ridge Petite Syrah 2013, I pulled that out of my uh, wine cellar and brought it to dinner. Um, it's a standard size bottle. I think, believe it's 16.2 alcohol by volumes, which is not unsurprising for a Petite Syrah. And again, that's the bread that we crushed. Um, they did have uh, white and rosé wines. They were very nice. They sent us over a little glass of champagne to celebrate. But let's get into that Switchback. That Switchback had a nice peppery flavor to it. You know, Petite Syrah is very, uh, very peppery, very thick skin. So you see that dark color, very, lots of blue fruit flavors, especially blueberry. There was some blackberry and some boysenberry in there, but the blueberry really shined through with the white and black pepper. Excellent pairing. Then, of course, the, the dinners arrived. Uh, you got, you know, a plethora of things. Look at those onion rings. They're ridiculous. We did sweet potato fries, the onion rings, the sautéed mushrooms. Uh, Megan, my wife, if you didn't know, had the uh, 12 ounce, I'm sorry, the, yeah, I think it was a 12 ounce, maybe it was a 10 ounce filet, bacon wrapped with like a little garlic butter on top, and that was uh, grass fed. And then I had the prime rib, and there's that petite Syrah looming in the background, waiting to be consumed with his perfect partner, the steak. I ordered that prime rib medium rare, and that's exactly what I got. Megan, then uh, the champ that she is, ordered that uh, filet charred rare. And look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Perfect cook on that. 
the bacon had a smoky flavor, kind of complemented the filet. The filet was super tasty. Of course, I got a taste of it. And then you look at our wine complements, and you can see we had a little bit of the whites left over, but we went right into that petite Syrah. And once you started mixing it with the food, some of that fattiness and richness kind of cut through that pepper, but it didn't get flabby. You still had that little blueberry undertone, um, but uh, you know because of there, there was enough spice, uh, it didn't kind of get drowned out. It was a nice compliment to the beef, made the beef sing, the beef made the wine sing, and of course the, uh, you know, the side dishes made my, uh, made my stomach sing. So, you know, it was a win all the way around. Now what you're looking at there is our desserts and uh, after dinner drinks. You see they have a nice assortment. Uh, more desserts than the last steakhouse we were at, but still not, a, not an unusual amount. Plenty of dessert wine. And then we ordered that uh, flourless chocolate cake, which came warm. It had like a rich uh, cream to it, which was like a nut cream, um, toasted uh, almonds on there. It was delicious. I mean, really, really good. It wasn't a lava center, but it was very rich. And that cream kind of offset everything, that nut cream. Coffee was delicious. We had a uh, little espresso martini for the young lady there. And then we kind of finished up with the wine, which of course was excellent. Obviously dark red wine with a lot of berry flavor, a little bit of spice goes perfect with that chocolate cake. It was a pairing from heaven, as you might imagine. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, you guys are really smart. So you're looking at the check there. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon. That way you know the next time I drop a new episodes, including restaurant reviews like this one. So if you like this episode, stand by and watch the next one coming up on your screen. Uh, you know, it's another great restaurant review. Thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you again next time.